guys, Reversal here. Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Run. There's a brand new trailer out for the game. There's a set date. The game is going to be released on the 15th of December. Exactly one month from now, the game is going live in the App Store. And that is unfortunately only the Apple App Store. So if you own an iPad or a cell phone, you will be able to play the game. Android, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. I'm gonna update you guys further uh, upon the Android release as well. And expect to see a whole lot of gameplay coming to the channel about Super Mario Run. I'm actually going to be doing a playthrough series and, and so on and so forth and actually compete with you guys together onto the channel. So that's something to definitely uh, take into consideration. Also, there's a set price available right now. It's actually going to be $10 in order to purchase Super Mario Run. The bad thing about that is, of course, that the game is not free and it's actually more than I thought what it was going to be. And it's also been sad, which actually is the good thing about this, is that there's not going to be any microtransactions or anything like that. Now, I'm not sure whether or not the game is going to be getting brand new updates or not that is yet to be seen. But from the looks of it, the game seems very solid. And there's actually a little trailer that I kind of want to react to you guys and inform you guys about what exactly goes down. So with that being said, let's take a look. So as I already mentioned before, the game plays in the new Super Mario World uh, graphics basically. And I, I really like that, the same kind of music as before. The objective of course, get as many coins as you possibly can. There's different types of color coins, so obviously you want to be going for that for an extra little bonus. And you can also get more bonus in different types of modes based on the risky moves you're doing. One thing that I liked is that Super Mario Run actually has new types of moves. If you're trying to dodge the Goombas, for instance, or hopping over them, um, it's actually, he's, he's like doing this little uh, different types of moves. This actually new mechanic that we haven't seen before, the bubble, was also their new Super Mario World, but worked a little bit differently. Um, this time it seems to be like some sort of a, um, uh, of a net. So in case you guys end up failing, you can actually resort back to that. Um, I would assume that if you're doing it perfect, you're going to be getting a better score, obviously. But um, yeah, it's, it's just a, like a little bit of safety. This is a real, really kind of cool mode, but it's kind of confusing how it's been displayed within this little demo over here. Uh, Kingdom Builder is basically uh, the ability to, you know, build your own uh, kingdom. And you can potentially upgrade it from what I read. Uh, but you can also, what it seems like to be, making your own level from this, which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, maybe you're going to be able to unlock sort of modes based on how far you are in, inside of the game. And you can actually use tickets to challenge other players. Now the other players will be displayed as a sticker and you will be the actual player. So you will know in the shadows how well the other player has been doing. So there's actually a new thing over here. Um, if you go in star mode, uh, your all of the coins will basically attract to you as a magnet. And you of course will be invincible for a short period of time. And this is of course the victory screen showcasing who won. So that is a little bit more on Super Mario Run, we got to show, we got to see a little bit more of the Kingdom Builder, which is kind of interesting to see. We got to see a brand new power, actually two new features. You have the little bubble in case you end up dying. You have a little backup, so you can actually return, you can actually like turn back time a little bit, which I think is fairly interesting. And then of course you got the star power up, which uh, basically serves as a invincible. At the same time, Magnet, which will only be there for a temporarily uh, time. I'm really excited for this because I, I really uh, like what I'm seeing. It seems like a, a very well-polished quality game. So I'm definitely looking forward to what Nintendo uh, has more in store for us. Because I'm assuming based off this that there's going to be maybe one extra trailer showcasing some new features. And then the game is going to be launched on the 15th of December. And then we're going to obviously see what the Mushroom Kingdom Builder is going to be all about. The uh, the tour in which you can actually battle other players and potentially some other kind of mode. So yeah, that's going to be doing it for this video. I hope that you guys are just as excited as I am for Super Mario Run. Be sure to stay tuned for more Super Mario Run news. Whenever something comes out, you can expect it onto the channel as soon as it hits the interwebs. So with that in mind, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And this has been Reversal for Super Mario Run. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.